I would like to share my warmest greetings to everyone who is watching this video. In this video, we will learn how to solve problem using a Venn diagram and using Polya's method. Let's proceed to Venn diagram. 72 first-year students from Don Honor Ventura State University, Candaba Campus, were chosen at random. Once the school canteen opened, they were interviewed by the student council about their preferred choices. According to the results, 34 of the students preferred Sinigang, 30 preferred Adobo, and 28 preferred Menudo as their viand. Furthermore, 15 students preferred Sinigang and Menudo as their viand, 12 students preferred Sinigang and Adobo, and 10 students preferred Adobo and Menudo. On the other hand, 8 of them preferred all of these foods. And now, let's proceed to questions. Number 1. How many students prefer sinigang only? Number 2. How many students prefer adobo only? Number 3. How many students prefer menudo only? Number 4. How many students do not prefer any of the bayans? And now, let's proceed to solving using Venn diagram. Alam nyo ba na ang kadalasang pagkakamali ng mga students pag nagsasolve ng Venn diagram ay ganito. Kunyari, 34 students preferred adobo, isinusulat nila 34 sa loob ng adobo, ganun din yung sa sinigang na 30 and minudo na 28. Which is pag pinag-add nating lahat, ang magiging equal niya ay sobra pa sa ating universal na which is 72, which is wrong. At alam nyo ba na ang technique dyan sa pagsusolve ng Venn diagram ay mag-uumpisa tayo sa pinakababa which is yung 8. So yung 8 naman, yan yung intersection nilang tatlo kaya isusulat natin yan sa pinakagitna nila which is dun sa may shade. Sunod naman yung 12. So yung 12 ba isusulat agad natin sa taas ng 8? Siyempre hindi kasi yung 8 sakop siya ng bilog ng sinigang and adobo kaya ang mangyayari ay 12 minus 8 is equals to 4. So 4 yung intersection ni sinigang and adobo. Sunod naman yung 10 students preferred adobo and minudo. Yung 10 ba isusulat agad natin siya sa intersection ng minudo and adobo? Siyempre hindi kasi yung 8 pasok siya sa intersection ng minudo and adobo. Kasi nga yung 8 nga kasi intersection siya ng lahat. Kung kaya gagawin natin is 10 minus 8 is equals to 2. So yung 2 yan yung intersection ni minudo and adobo. Ngayon naman, proceed na tayo sa 15 students preferred sinigang and minudo. Dating gawe ima minus natin yung 8 kasi intersection sa, siya ng lahat. Kaya 15 minus 8 is equals to 7. At ngayon, proceed na tayo sa mismong minudo. So yung lahat ng number na nasa loob ng bilog ng minudo, ipag a natin siyang lahat. So 7 plus 8 plus 2 is equals to 17. 17 naman, ima-minus natin siya sa 28. So, 28 minus 17 is equals to 11. So, 11 yung students na may gusto sa menudo. Ngayon, proceed na tayo kay sinigang. So, ganun din, katulad sa ginawa natin sa menudo, ipag add natin lahat ng number na pasok sa bilog ni sinigang, which is yung 7 plus 8 plus 4 is equals to 19. So, 30 minus 19 naman, is equals to 11. So, 11 yung students na may gusto sa sinigang. Ngayon naman, proceed na tayo sa adobo. So, i-add natin lahat. 4 plus 8 plus 2 is equals to 14. So, 34 minus 14 is equals to 20. Ngayon naman, ang ipag a natin silang lahat. So, 11 plus 4 plus 8 plus 2 plus 7 plus 20 plus 11 is equals to 63. So, yung 63 na total na yan, ima-minus natin yan sa universal, which is yung 72. 72 minus 63 is equals to 9. So, 9 yung students na wala yung gusto nila sa mga sinigang, adobo, at minudo. Ngayon naman, sasagutin natin mga question. How many students prefer sinigang only? Based on our Venn diagram, 11 students yon. Sunod naman, how many students prefer adobo only? 20 students. How many students prefer menudo only? 11 students. How many students do not prefer any of the bayans? 9 students. And that would be all for our solving using Venn diagram.